Hey everybody and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2020 Forest River Alpha Wolf 27RK-L. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you around the inside, back to the outside of this brand new rear kitchen RV. And then when we're done, we're going to close her up, kind of show you what it looks like all closed up as well. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're now up inside this new 2020 Rear Kitchen Alpha Wolf Trailer 27 RKL. We're going to start by looking through the kitchen area back here on the rear of the RV, and then we'll kind of go from there. So right now we're looking at the booth dinette, traditional booth dinette, does go down, make into a bed, has two full extending drawers here that pop out great place for pots and pans things like that to go but quite a bit of storage right there nice big windows they have the really cool pull down roller shade blinds pantry there in the back right corner does have a light in it also quite a bit of shelf space there to put your food and goods back there the unit comes standard with the 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt Furion refrigerator right now. And this refrigerator uh, version 12 volt is becoming more and more popular in the RV industry with the use of solar panels and things like that. Plus not everybody is a boondock camper anyway, but um, you know, this does really well. It keeps you cold going down the road. You don't have to worry about leaving your propane on or running out of propane. Your truck is juicing up your battery. This particular unit was also ordered with the juice pack, which is a 50 watt solar panel on the roof. Um, so that right there is also trying to juice you up. And when you plug in, you're also recharging the battery. So, you know, it's becoming again, more and more popular for a lot of the reasons of solar panels and things like that. Down below that refrigerator, you can see a little round vent there. It's a heat vent. And then the right side down there is the electric box with your breakers and fuses in it. On the side of the uh, kitchen counter here, you have two drawers, the propane leak detector down there, two USB charger ports, and an electric outlet back there on the left. Little blue accent LED lighting around the counter as well. On the side of the cabinet up there is a switch that flips from the electric fireplace to the microwave. So that is a power switch depending on which one you want to use. Nice looking kitchen countertop as well with a matching sink cover. And then it does have the little bit larger one bowl farm style sink there that you're seeing. Some overhead cabinets. Does have the hood range and fan and light and stuff there that you're seeing as well. Some storage down here along with the Greystone gas oven, which has the little light and glass front, uh, little LED lit knobs, glass cover as well. And some more storage over here. The window in the back does open along with the one over here behind the kitchen area as well, the sink area. Spinning around here, looking toward the living room area here. Huge window overlooking the campsite area there. Does have one of those cool little pull down shades. Also, it opens about 50%. Um, so that is a sliding window, opens nice and big. Two pushback recliners. They are Thomas Payne recliners that they're currently using. And they're freestanding recliners, so you can move them around, kind of arrange them however you want. A uh, jackknife sofa over here on the left. This does fold down into a small bed and it does have storage underneath of it as well. There's the electric fireplace. Pretty cool. Basically it's a fancy electric space heater, but in the fall or early spring it definitely helps knock the chill off in the camper without wasting your propane. 
A little bit of storage there on the right as well. And your AM FM radio just above the fireplace there. And then you have plenty of room for a large flat screen TV to go right there above the fireplace. Uh, brackets already there. There's a bracket there, but you obviously could get your own if you want something that swivels because that is a flat mount bracket right there. Ducted air conditioning. And they're using the Coleman air conditioning instead of the Dometic air conditioner uh, that you find on a lot of RVs. The Coleman air conditioner is just a little bit quieter for a traditional RV AC. A lot of vinyl floor throughout the coach except for the slide out. They do still use carpet there just to kind of help with the slide mechanisms. Fire extinguisher down below there. But when you first walk into the coach, you have your little in-command center kind of thing here. So you've got uh, awning, in and out buttons, slide out, in and out buttons, some light switches, uh, water pump, water heater on gas button. Um, there's electric button for the water heater outside. Uh, battery meter, gray, black tank, galley tank meters are all right here. But when you do order the juice pack, you also get a little bit fancier battery meter here. They're just a little more digital, a little more accurate as what's going on with your battery. And then you have your air conditioner and furnace controls right here as well. On the left hand side here is the bathroom area. So a decent amount of room to come into the bathroom, get dressed and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, it's a pretty decent sized little bathroom for an RV this size. Turbo exhaust fan there, skylight up above, air conditioning and heat both in there. Glass enclosure. Plenty of cabinet space and shelf space there on the back right corner. And then you even have a little bit nicer porcelain foot flush toilet. Traditional medicine cabinet and sink area. Now you have two ways into the bathroom and bedroom area. So looking into the uh, bedroom area here, you can see nice overhead cabinets. Hanging closet on both sides of the bed. This is a traditional RV queen bed. On the left hand side, there is a window and also TV hookups and a place to mount a flat screen above the window. So it would have to be a smaller TV if you wanted to do one there. And there's a USB charger port there on the left as well. Electric outlet and USB charger port over on that side of the bed. Pretty good size window there overlooking your campsite. And there's a sliding pocket door here to basically block off the bathroom area from the bedroom here. And then you have your traditional door from the hallway over there on the left. Now this bed does raise up uh, so there is storage underneath of there also. If that does interest you, we'll pop that up there with a picture. You can also see the heat vent down there on the side, by, uh, the side of the bed, basically. All right, guys, we're going to head to the outside, walk you around, show you that, and then come back inside here where that all closed up. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of this new Alpha Wolf 27RK-L trailer. We're gonna start here on the door side of the trailer and kind of do our walk around here. On the front section here, there is a pass-through storage compartment. So you have a big area here for storage. There is an LED light strip up inside there. The light switch for the front light cap, uh, cap lights up there, along with a battery disconnect switch as well. There is a pre-wire right here on the right for a portable solar panel to plug in if you want to do a portable solar panel. This customer chose to order it with the juice pack, so it already has a 50 watt solar panel on the roof already. 
power optional jacks here. You can do manual or power depending on your preference. This customer chose to do the power jacks. Little push button right there on the side. Then you can also see the little pet friendly leash hook right there as well. So you could leash up your dog. Power awning on the unit, pretty good size awning. It's probably about 20, 21 feet long roughly. We'll put that down in the description here when we're done. Um, adjustable arm so you can tilt it for water runoff and things like that. You can also have a LED light strip turned on there. That is a blue LED light strip standard with the awning. They do the more ride step above steps here. So basically they come down, touch the ground. They do have a little wolf emblem engraved into them, which kind of makes them a little different than some of the other steps that you purchase aftermarket like these. Um, just more factory, I guess you'd say. But neat little feature there that they put into the step just to make it look a little different. Large folding entry handle there going in and out of the coach just to help you get in and out. You'll also see your model number located right there at the entry door as well, just to kind of identify your model. Aluminum wheels. Little outdoor kitchen area here. And basically you have a two burner gas stove, little mini fridge, and there's a little ice maker right there as well. And there's also a little dump sink down here. There is right up inside of here, a little spray port hookup right there. Two outdoor speakers, along with TV hookups and stuff here as well. So you could do a TV right here and it comes with a little mount bracket. Furnace exhaust out right there. Six gallon gas electric water heater you're seeing there. And just down below the rear power jacks, but also the LP hookup for the two burner gas stove. Now this customer also chose to order the rear travel rack on this. It's an option, so you don't have to get it if you don't like it. Uh, but basically it's a little flip down rack that you see there on the bumper. So you could do you know, whatever you wanna put back here, a couple of small bicycles or some, a little bit of firewood or luggage or whatever, but it's rated for a few hundred pounds. The unit is also pre-wired for a rear observation or backup camera. Uh, definitely would recommend the observation camera so you can also see it uh, behind you while you're driving down the road. Talk with your salesperson about that. They'll be glad to give you more details on that. Standard four inch square two bumper on the back of the coach. So it's a good place to store dump hose. 30 amp electric service is what was ordered on this particular coach. Detachable power cord. Uh, for some of the customers that are from down south, if they like two air conditioners, you can order the unit with two air conditioners if you want. And it would be 50 amp service at that point. Dump back here on the rear of the coach. This is for the kitchen only. Um, the bathroom, as you've seen when we were in the camper, is almost all the way up toward the front. So kitchen all the way in the back, bathroom up toward the very front. They don't travel very far and flow properly that long of a distance. So they have two separate dumps on the coach. Slide out here that you're seeing is electric. It is also pre-set up for slide out awning topper. The sole air slide out awning topper bracket are on each corner up there. And then the gutter rail system actually already has a groove in it to allow a slide topper to go onto there. So you can already, you know, kind of have the track there, have the brackets there and put you a slide topper on if you like the slide out awning toppers. There's an outside utility shower right here, hot and cold water both. Along with your cable inlets, black tank flush, city water hookups, all located right here as well. Fresh tank fill up. The other side of the storage compartment area right there. Fully enclosed underbelly. You can kind of see underneath of there.
And we're gonna pop up your weight stickers and stuff here as well, uh, just so you can kind of get a look at that. And we're gonna close up everything so you can also see what it looks like when it's actually closed and traveling down the road. All right, guys, we're back in here now. I wanted to show you what this all looks like closed up. So we're gonna hit the button here and run this slide out in for you. Again, this is an electric slide out. So it's pretty easy to do. You just push a button, it comes in and out. There is a manual override in case of an electronic failure. Uh, or if your battery's dead or something along those lines, it could technically be ran in manually. Um, but still gives you a decent amount of room with it closed up to get in here if you have to stop at a rest area, uh, you know, Walmart parking lot, something like that, get in and out of your camper. And it's simple to push out. Um, so you can get in here, kind of get to the living room area. You have full access, uh, obviously, to the bathroom and the bedroom area as the slide doesn't interfere with that stuff at all um, but you can still kind of get in here do what you need to do a little bit now if you need to get to the back refrigerator and stuff um, there's a couple different ways of doing it I've had a lot of customers that they'll just leave the table in down position so they can kind of climb, climb over it if they need to or obviously you can just push the button it takes just a couple seconds to bump it out six or eight inches so that you can get back to the refrigerator area but obviously you know pretty simple and easy here to do this if you need to do that but i just wanted to kind of show you guys what it looks like uh, again don't forget guys if you don't mind to like share and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with these videos don't forget to hit the notification button for the next videos coming out.